Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Certified Certiport Educator Virtual Conference. We are excited that you're joining us this afternoon and welcome you. My name is David Watkins, and uh, today we are pleased to share with you some information regarding Certiport learning products and all of the preparation materials used to successfully pass uh, our industry recognized credentials. In addition to myself, Margaret Grzbowski, who is our senior product manager, will join us, and Miranda Cole, who is a business ed teacher at Crossroad Academy Charter School uh, in Florida, will join us to share some tips and tricks. Really excited to have her with us. Uh, let's take a moment to talk about the agenda. Uh, with the onset, of course, of COVID-19, there have been many disruptions that have taken place in countless industries and education is no exception. Today we'll talk about how Certiport and its trusted partners are working closely with education to adapt to the new learning environment. We'll also highlight some of the practice in courseware products as well as hear from Miranda, uh, as I mentioned a moment ago. As we kick the discussion off, let's talk for a moment about global, uh, the global learning landscape. Uh, as it stands right now, there are over 1 billion learners at 3 million different schools, colleges, and universities around the world. And these individuals are depending on education to prepare them for a prosperous life and the jobs of the future. However, there are a number of overwhelmingly difficult challenges that make this quest quite difficult. Despite 2020 and 21 being a year of global upheaval, it has brought a number of major developments in digital solutions and education such as widespread switching uh, to online learning, and of course, the rise in the use of hybrid learning. As it stands now, we have never seen or witnessed uh, an educational disruption at this scale. Children across the world have lost an average of one third or 74 days of education due to school closures and a lack of access to remote learning. As of March, 2021, Close to half of the world's students are out of school worldwide due to the pandemic. Two thirds of the world's uh, school aged children or 1.3 billion children ages three to 17 did not have internet connection in their homes. And only 15 countries are currently offering distance instruction in more than one language. Worldwide, 50% of students don't have a computer at home and in Sub-Saharan Africa, 89% of learners don't have a computer at home. Due to the losses and increase in dropout rates, this generation of students stand to lose an estimated $10 trillion in earnings, which is equivalent to about 10% of the global GDP. So the impact is quite significant. With the global landscape ever-changing, how do we help ensure success in the classroom? a structure that builds a foundation of success for both students and each of you as educators. What are the keys to success in the classroom? Well, before we take a moment and delve into the keys to the success, let's focus just for a brief moment on what success looks like. There are a lot of stories about success, but no one agrees on its definition. Uh, Merriam-Webster defines it as a, the fact of getting or achieving wealth, respect, or fame. But as you and I know, this interpretation doesn't feel complete. Huffington Post founder Ariana Huffington says that money and power aren't necessarily enough. Legendary basketball coach John Wooden says it's a matter of satisfaction. And Zappos CEO Tony says success is about living in accordance with one's values. Billionaire Richard Branson believes success is about engagement. Thomas Edison recognizes that success is a grind. He held over a thousand patents and had an insane work ethic. Success, he defined, was 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And of course, popular author Stephen Coveney said that the definition of success is deeply individual. The question is, how do you define success? Do you define it as setting concrete goals, having a place to call home, is success believing you can? Is success a balance between work and passion? Is success overcoming fear? Is success defined by how many students achieve certification and advance toward their academic and professional goals? The truth is, success is personal. 
and it carries with it a vast set of definitions. However, however it is that you or I define success, one thing is for certain, and that is that success requires preparation. My wife and I are the proud parents of three wonderful children, one boy and two girls. My two girls love to swim. I'm not talking about the kind of swimming their father does, like belly flops and cannonballs. I'm talking about the kind of swimming that requires a significant amount of time, dedication, and passion. The kind where they're up at 6.30 in the morning every day, five days a week, to practice. The amount of effort they display is quite impressive to me. I shared with them recently that when I was their age, the only thing that would interest me enough to get me out of bed at six in the morning during summer break was to watch the Smurfs, or maybe even Tom and Jerry. Every day their instructor spends time teaching them swimming techniques such as backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, freestyle, and side stroke. Watching them prepare for competition really is inspiring. More importantly, watching them excel in something they're passionate about is incredibly rewarding. Their work, sweat, and on a few occasions, even tears were worth it to them all in the end. The confidence, work ethic, and satisfaction of setting a goal and working hard to achieve it is a great life lesson. And let's be honest, the bling, of course, that they earned while pursuing their passion was an added plus as well. Each of you, as an instructor, stand as a coach, a guide, a trainer, someone who is there to help students along their path to success. I believe that it's vital that we remember the work in which you're engaged truly really is life-changing. Before anything else, preparation is the key to success. How do we help students achieve that success? This quote was given to us by Alexander Graham Bell, who was a Scottish-born inventor, scientist, and engineer and is credited with inventing and patenting the first practical telephone. Each of you, by the very nature of your profession, have chosen and care about others and their ability to find success. Education unlocks doors and lessens the challenge one will face in life. The more knowledge individuals gain, the more opportunities will open up. If certification is the stepping stone to advancing towards one's goal, then preparation is the key to unlocking certification success. When Mark Zuckerberg was at college, he dreamed of a more connected society and invented Facebook. The rest, of course, is history. But even if you or I don't invent a website that will change the world, we can change the life of individuals. One certification, one advancement, one student at a time. I commend each of you for inspiring the lives of students unlocking their future by helping them properly prepare for it. Certification is the means by which preparation, knowledge, and skills are validated. This validation of certification will unlock more doors and opportunities than any other asset we can provide our students. So why does certification matter and how does it help? Well, first it puts students in the driver's seat. It allows them to be the ones who decide and take control of their future. Number two, the best jobs uh, require the best skills and nothing says I have the best skills like an officially recognized certification. Number three, money matters to students. Remember our first job? Uh, while there, we quickly realized that different jobs get paid different amounts. And certification increases earning power. Number four, the old adage remains true, if you can dream it, you can do it. Everyone has a dream, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes determination, dedication, and more often than not, someone to help and guide us along the way. As educators, you have the unique ability to help students find their inspiration and give them the tools to be successful. And number five, skills when coupled with confidence unlock success certification gives that success that they're looking for. Okay, so if preparation is the key to success, certification is the stepping stone to advancement. Today, we want to share with you what the key components are that make up or point toward certification success. Can you guess what they are? Of course, they're learning products. You've heard the quotes, uh, 
before, an individual is only as good as his tools. And fortunately, Certiport has taken the time and effort to identify the best tools and resources that will help you, both you and students achieve certification success. Certiport has partnered with dozens and dozens of the best of breed publishers to make navigating the waters of learning materials simple. And each of these publishers, uh, publishers create learning content for a number of certification programs, which we've illustrated in this particular slide. So as you look through the variety of programs that we offer, uh, we partnered with the industry's best, best providers to provide solutions that are geared and aligned to the objective domains of our certification exams, making life much easier for you. Along with great learning courseware, of course, is the need to have access to excellent practice tests. Gmetrics and MeasureUp are industry leaders when it comes to practice tests, and we're pleased to offer them to you. Earlier today, you heard from Craig Bushman, our VP of uh, Certiport Marketing, and he shared an exciting announcement that later this summer, we will be rebranding our practice test offering to Cert Prep powered by Gmetrics. With this unique update, you can rest assured that the same benefits, user experience, and content you have come to enjoy will continue tomorrow. Cert Prep powered by Gmetrics will continue to offer practice tests for our certification programs. So let's pause there for a moment and talk a little bit more about what's changing. Well, the current name of Geometrics Practice Test is changing. Practice tests on the Geometrics platform will now be called Cert Prep Practice Tests instead of Geometrics Practice Tests. You might ask, are the Cert Prep Practice Tests the same as the Geometrics Practice Tests that have been in use uh, that I've been using for several years? The answer is yes, they are the same practice tests. The only thing that is changing, of course, is the name. When will the change appear within the Geometrics platform? The Cert Prep Practice Test brand will gradually be ro rolled out within the Geometrics platform uh, later this summer. Students may see some changes on their panels right away. For example, the Cert Prep logo on certain practice test tiles and the Cert Prep logo within the actual practice tests. Teachers and administrators may not notice changes uh, for some time. Another question that you might have is, do students or teachers have to do anything differently? than what they've done in the past? The answer is no. Teachers and students will continue to log in on the Geometrics platform as they have done um, since the initiation of their license. And please note that today, while we're pleased to share this announcement with you and look forward to sharing additional information with you uh, as this rebrand takes place later this summer, stay tuned for additional details as we continue to share updates uh, in the coming weeks. All right, so let's talk a little bit about practice tests in terms of why they're a benefit. Uh, these practice tests that we're talking about do a number of things, one of which, of course, is that they ac accurately replicate the testing environment. Uh, it also enhances learning through self-paced practice questions, builds familiarity, increases confidence towards certification, and ultimately, through preparation, better prepares students to pass the certification exam. One thing that I think all of us have experienced as we've taken exams is the factor of stress or anxiety that takes place either before or during the exam. In fact, a little nervousness can actually help individuals perform better. However, when the distress becomes so excessive that it interferes with performance on exam, it really can cause challenges. Anxiety overburdens and effectively washes out our working memory. Uh, answers that we knew just an hour before the test are no longer accessible. Unfortunately, there's a way to overcome this test anxiety, and that is through our practice tests. And as you can see from here, it really does impact individuals' ability to test successfully. 20% of students score lower on tests due to test anxiety and our practice tests alleviate and reduce one's test anxiety so that they perform well. Uh, students who are preparing for the certification exam can benefit from a number of different uh, testing modes that exist on the platform. For example, the training mode. 
the training mode on the pre uh, practice test platform allows students to work at their own pace. They can access tips and tricks and uh, hints along the way that provide step-by-step -step instructions. They can also receive immediate feedback after each question so that it becomes more of a learning exercise than an actual practice test. The second mode of testing um, is what we call our testing mode. And students who use the testing mode experience what it is like to get uh, or to take an exam um, in the exam mode. It's timed and it presents scenarios and tasks to perform just like one would expect to see on the certification exam. And these two testing modes provide a, a great experience for test candidates. In addition to those benefits, as course, of course, as an administrator, uh, each of you have the ability to create customizable tests from question pools to help target specific areas of study. This becomes helpful when you're focusing on a, a specific objective and want to drive home uh, the, the specific task that you're looking to teach. Um, you also have the ability as administrators to create and manage student accounts. So you can create um, a student class that includes uh, all of the, the students in one specific class or create other multiple uh, accounts which are helpful in managing uh, your class. You also have the ability to track progress uh, from a student perspective. You can see how they're performing on practice tests and on that online dashboard, uh, students also themselves have the ability to track progress on uh, practice tests that they're taking and uh, as well as administrative uh, features that give you the ability to track that progress. And as you see perhaps areas of deficiency in students, you can prescribe different customized tests to better help um, increase their knowledge in that, that core area. So there's a number of different benefits uh, with practice tests, all of which of course point to that Learn Practice Certify uh, advanced mantra that really does drive success. We'd like to spend a little bit of time now talking about courseware. Uh, practice tests when coupled with courseware is indeed the recipe for success at certification uh, day. And to do that, we've invited Margaret Grisbowski to join us. And uh, Margaret will share with us again, some of the portfolio offerings that we, we have available for courseware. Margaret, thanks for joining us. The time is yours. Thanks, David. It's good to be with you all today. I'm going to spend about the next 20 minutes telling you at a very high level about many of the popular courseware products that we resell. If you have questions, please contact your CertiPort territory manager. I'll start with LearnKey. So LearnKey offers video-based courseware preparation for many, many of our exams. You'll also notice that they offer courses for CompTIA. So just know that those available are available through us as well. Let's start with a short video clip that describes what LearnKey offers. Just bear with me as we get this. Hi, welcome to LearnKey powered by Geometrics. As an authorized learning partner of CertiPort, we are here to provide your classroom with top level video-based training. Using scenarios to demonstrate exam objectives provided by CertiPort, Microsoft, Adobe, and many others, we will help ensure your students are prepared for their certification exam. Our courseware is designed for both individual and classroom use. It works with multiple learning levels. In the classroom, students can watch together, review material after class, catch up, or move ahead. After logging into the portal, students will see a dashboard where they can access tests and courses. LearnKey courses have two distinct layouts, lesson and session. Lesson layouts begin and end with an assessment. The video training is broken into 15 to 20 minute segments, along with labs and workbook content to help reinforce what students just learned. Session layouts present the video training in longer segments. The exercise labs and workbook resources can be used to create your own lesson plan throughout the video training. The post assessment is the final section for each lesson or session 
and helps determine what the students have learned. All courses include a glossary with key terms and definitions, with flashcard decks that can be activated for review. For Microsoft Office, the exercise labs use the Geometrics SMS in-app technology. The app will use your installed Word, Excel, or PowerPoint software to take tests and the students receive a score immediately. All exercise labs in the course are graded and tracked in the system. Students will be able to see their own activity inside the portal. As an administrator, you will have access to student progress in a more detailed summary page. These reports can easily be exported as a CSV file. All course resources, including answer keys, project templates, and lesson plans are available in the administrative portal. With over 30 years of creating certification content, our goal is to help teachers prepare their students for industry certification exams and improve their employability prospects. To learn more, contact your CertiPort representative today. These days, one of the first questions we get is if LearnKey works remotely. And the answer is yes, it does, even on a Chromebook. The Moss and Adobe courses include in-application and in-browser lab options. So students working on a PC with the software installed can use the in-application option. And those on a device without the software installed can use the in-browser application. LearnKey has added simulations to both the Microsoft Office 365 and the Adobe CC courses. This will give your students both options all in one course. You should know that there are some optional project workbook resources that may require the software for Moss, Adobe, Autodesk, QuickBooks, and IC3. Next, I'd like to talk about CCI Learning a publisher with years of experience developing learning in the information technology space. They offer a product called Jasper Active, which is virtual learning and validation, uh, a virtual learning and validation platform tailored to the learner. Remote learning is easily done thanks to CCI's variety of virtual learning platforms. You'll find that they are conducive to all types of learning environments and schedules. Jasper Active for Microsoft Office was developed using CCI's popular content. It is available for all of the Microsoft Office exams. It uses a kinesthetic learning and validation system that focuses on critical thinking and application of the software. Students don't just memorize how to perform a function, they learn to figure it out. Jasper Active uses a five-step prescriptive learning pathway that includes benchmark, learn, practice, create, and validate. Jasper Active for Microsoft Office comes with the CERT prep practice tests on Geometrics. Another project that teacher, teachers are loving right now is Jasper Active Moss Online. This has truly been a game changer. It can be used by anyone, anytime, and anywhere, including Chromebooks and Macs. It offers web-based learning for Microsoft Office and is with, it includes tailored exercises, for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Word Expert, and Excel Expert. Jasper Active Dig Digital Literacy is mapped to the IC3GS5 program, and soon it will include courses mapped to GS6. It will include levels 1, 2, and 3. This course is easily taken on any device. In fact, I did this course on my phone. Jasper Active QuickBooks is a perfect addition to any accounting or business program and will prepare students for the Intuit QuickBooks Certified User Certification. It employs a variety of methodologies to train all types of learners. It uses an exercise-based approach with real-world context. It guides the student with a performance level approach and allows learners to assess their own understanding. And of course, it includes reports that are, are valuable for both the learner and their instructor. When it comes to learning, 
one size does not fit all. With Jasper Active, teachers can choose <clears throat> how much they want to be involved in the learning process. Downloadable teacher resources and automated grading really save the teacher's time. Teachers can easily manage their class groupings. They can create class groups and assign specific courses. For those students with learning accommodations, teachers can customize timings for the assessments, either by group or individual. Jasper Active also offers detailed reporting. There are individualized exportable group reports so that you can track student progress and course completion. You'll know how many times a student attempted a lesson and even the time spent within each one. I can't talk about CCI without mentioning their books and eBooks. CCI has been publishing their own books for over 30 years. These books are very well known. As you can see on this slide, they have books and eBooks for the Microsoft Office applications, IC3, GS5, and GS6, and QuickBooks. When you purchase 10 or more books, you'll receive the online teacher resource package for free. This includes PowerPoints, lesson plans, quiz answers, and course outlines. Another lesser known option is that of a digital print site license. With this option, you get the book's content electronically that you can download and put on each computer at your school or on your school's secured intranet. You also get the rights to print that book for students at that single site. You may have noticed in my first CCI slide that it mentions Jasper Active Adobe Create. This is a brand new product that will be released next month in July of 2021 and includes training on Photoshop. Other Adobe applications will be included later on. So that's an exciting bit of news for all of our CCI and Jasper Active fans. Moving on to Pearson. The learning Microsoft Office textbooks and courses by Pearson have been a staple in education for years. Learning works best when you use both these books and the MyLab in your classroom. Lesson one covers objectives mapped to the Moss Associate Level exams and level two maps to the expert level exam objectives. The MyLab, which used to be called the learning Microsoft Office eCourse, includes full customized uh, assignments to meet individual student needs. It includes the full student edition e-text with search, navigation, and bookmark tools. It includes engaging how-to videos with step-by-step -step procedures for each software tool and greater projects where students perform real-world projects live in the application and then submit those for automated grading and of course, classroom and student reporting. Pearson also offer ti offers titles that prepare students for our Adobe Certified Professional exams. The Learn Adobe series was written specifically with these exam objectives in mind. Also popular are the Classroom in a Book series for Adobe. Pearson offers many titles for many of our other programs too, such as ESB, IT Specialist, and IC3. Pearson has even more titles that are very applicable for K-12 CTE programs. These and many other titles are now available through your CertiPort representative. Let's move on to Brain Buffet, which many of you may know as the makers of ACA Test Prep. ACA Test Prep. They've updated their platform quite a bit over the past couple of years. They offer courses for Adobe and Microsoft Office. So let's watch their intro video. Teachers, we know you have a lot on your plate, so let us help you. Brain Buffet is a curriculum tool that adapts to your classroom needs. In our certification courses, students begin building a professional portfolio by completing creative design projects. Each certification course includes pre- and post-project assessments, as well as interactive questions throughout the project. We've broken each project down into digestible bites of five to eight minute videos. And that's just the beginning. Our courses include student handbooks complete with answer keys, lesson plans with rubrics, supplemental activities, and the ability to track student progress. Let us do all the work or incorporate our materials with your teaching style. 
Our subject area experts are award-winning classroom instructors. With their expertise on student certification, up to 95% of our students pass their industry certification exams each year. And we haven't forgotten about dessert. When students complete a course, they are awarded a Brain Buffet course certificate of completion. If all this makes you hungry for more, head on over to our website today to get a taste. Brain Buffet, certifiably creative. Teachers. So Brain Buffet offers courseware for all of the Adobe Certified Professional exams, as well as some non-certification programs like Character Animator, Audition, and XD. And for Microsoft Office, they offer courses for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. MSI, or More Solutions, web-based courseware is the perfect solution for educators that are searching for a really seamless platform where students can move from the classroom to home and back again without missing a beat. Students can complete their hands-on lessons in the actual software or in a simulated environment without the need to have this latest software application installed. Whether they choose the in-app or the software simulation, both grade automatically. Courses include e-text, videos, project, projects, and auto-graded assessments. MSI currently offers courses for the 2019 Microsoft applications, including courses for the expert, the Word and Excel expert exams, five of the Adobe applications, ESB, and the IC3 GS5 suite. When it comes to Microsoft Office or Adobe Certified Professional courses, and for those students that do have the software on their computers, MSI offers in-app training. Simply install the free add-in from the appropriate store. As students work through the assignments, the MSI Learning Management System and the Microsoft or Adobe software work together. Students work through knowledge checks, practice activities, quizzes, projects, and a final timed exam. Please remember that students who don't have access to the software can still complete their lessons in MSI's simulated environment with no software required. I want to show you some screenshots of what the add-in looks like. You download the MSI courseware add-in from the Microsoft App Store. Then when you open the application, you'll see the MSI courseware button at the top right. Click on that and you'll be guided through the course. Here you can see instructions for a practice project and the steps to take. Click check my work at the bottom and your student will receive immediate feedback. Of course, all results feed back to the MSI L LMS. And here's what the add-in looks like within the Adobe software. Install the add-in from the Adobe Education Exchange. Students learn to manipulate files using the appropriate tools from the software. They're able to complete lessons in three modes, including practice, quiz, and project modes. Students receive immediate feedback in the forms of grades and scores. Okay, moving on to BE Publishing. BE Publishing offers the popular Learn by Doing Microsoft Office textbooks. These engaging books include immersive graphics, fun projects, and they are infused with real world scenarios. This series is available for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Our most popular ESB textbook is this one, Essentials of Entrepreneurship. As students progress through the curriculum, they build a business plan. So by the time they finish, they have, they have their own business plan project for their portfolio. Students learn to collaborate and communicate in a variety of settings, including written essays, presentations, and creative projects. We offer CAD Learning for our Autodesk program. CAD Learning is an Autodesk authorized publisher, which means that Autodesk has vetted their content and given it their stamp of approval. CAD Learning is designed to build automatic, personalized learning paths from student assessment results, allowing them to close their gaps and get 100% retention. Their lessons are designed to cover a single task so that teachers and students can get quick, short answers when help is needed. CAD Learning includes an in-application tool called CAD Learning Assist 
for immediate help when students are working on projects inside the Autodesk application. It includes training on 40 different Autodesk projects, giving students a place to explore and develop in areas outside of the certification programs as well. CAD Learning offers straight out of the box Autodesk certification learning paths for students working towards certification. Exercise files are included so students can practice along with the instructor. The learning paths are broken into 20 to 30 minute segments and include quizzes and assessments. The CAD Learning Library is great for teachers too. It can really help you learn the latest software releases. CAD Learning playlists allow you to flip your classroom so students can acclimate to a topic before you even teach it. There are lots of ways to use CAD Learning. Teach Me 3D is another publisher in the Autodesk and 3D modeling space. It offers curriculum for AutoCAD, Inventor, Revit, Fusion, and even SolidWorks. These courses cover all exam objectives. Teach Me 3D uses the, show, the Tell, Show, Do model. It explains how to do something, shows students how to do it, and then gives students projects so that they're practicing that skill. It includes lots of different activities to keep students engaged. Teachers will find they can focus on helping their students rather than lecturing. Students who are absent are easily able to catch up using this curriculum. Teach Me 3D includes browser-based video tutorials, printable student workbooks, downloadable activity files, and of course, teacher outlines and answer keys. Technimedia offers online courses for IC3 GS5 and soon we'll have courses for IC3 GS6. These courses cover prerequisite skills to IC3 objectives. They don't just teach to the test. They include performance-based pre and post assessments, and then generate prescriptive custom learning paths based on those assessment results. They provide interactive exercises that require students to really think. Courses accommodate different learning styles with narration, closed caption, and adjustable play speed settings. Reporting is also included. Courses are available for online or offline delivery. And finally, they integrate into popular LMSs for single sign-on. Next is Code Avengers, courses made by educators for educators in the coding space. Code Avengers offers two products, the junior platform for grades K through nine and the pro platform designed for grades nine to 14. A student can prepare for all three of the MTA or IT specialist coding exams using the pro platform courses. And as you can see here, there are a lot of other valuable courses available to you when you purchase the pro platform. Spend less time planning thanks to Code Avengers customizable lesson plans. Their curriculum is fun and engaging, designed to prepare students for the tech world of tomorrow. Students receive real time feedback and teachers love the auto grading and the visual at a glance student tracking. Labyrinth offers textbooks that prepare students for the QuickBooks certifications. This curriculum includes labs where students can get plenty of practice and projects and assignments are auto graded. It is very easy to set up your online course and there are customization options available. Instructor resources and support are also available. I want to show you how the quick grader feature works. Students complete the exercises in QuickBooks and generate reports as Excel files. They upload those files to the digital learning platform. Quick Grader grades the student's work and then provides immediate detailed feedback. Another publisher for Intuit QuickBooks certification prep is Questiva Consultants. These textbooks are written by top Intuit trainers using the methodology of longtime author and trainer, Doug Sleater. Students work directly in QuickBooks while they are learning, while they learn the accounting and best practices behind the scenes. Extensive instructor resources are included. And this fall, they will be releasing their first QuickBooks online textbook. Coursework to prepare your students for the Unity exams is published from Unity and housed on the Gmetrics platform. The programmer and artist courses include about 15 hours of material each, the VR developer about five hours, 
And then there are offline projects where your students work in the Unity plot in the Unity software, resulting in a portfolio that your students can use to show future employers. The, next, the newest artist course showcases application of Unity across multiple industries like gaming, architecture, and automotive to help students really understand the career opportunities that these skills may open for them. Curriculum for both the EC Council certifications is published by EC Council and available in the form of eBooks and iLabs. Students must have access to both the eBook and the iLab to be successful in the course. 70% of the course is hands-on in the lab. The iLabs are cloud-based sandbox environments accessible via any browser. Instructor resources are included in the free syllabi. Contact your CertiPort representative. They are able to provide codes for those. The last piece of curriculum I want to mention is that for PMI's Project Management Ready exam. It is published by PMI. It includes four modules. Each are approximately 17 hours of material. There are activities and teacher notes included in this courseware. And with that, I will turn the time over to David Watkins and Miranda to, to talk about the CERT prep practice tests. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. We're excited to have uh, Miranda Cole with us this afternoon, who is a business educator instructor from the Charter School of Business in Florida. Miranda has some excellent uh, success in the classroom and has done some wonderful things in preparing students for certification success. And we're thrilled that she's here with us this afternoon to talk about some of the, the pointers that she has and successful tips and tricks that have made it um, uh, successful for her in the classroom. So with that, would love to turn the time over to Miranda. Miranda, welcome. Hi, David, and thank you so much for inviting me. I'm elated to be here. I also love anything that can help um, get the students to being successful and getting those industry certifications. I absolutely enjoy sharing that type of information. So I am so happy to be here with you today and share these tips and tricks with the educators. So thank you for inviting me. All right, so I'll go ahead and jump right in. If you were a student and you saw 880 for a score on a product that you thought that you didn't know, you would probably get very excited because 80, you know, in students world is passing. So you would be like, oh, wow, I got an 800. And the students actually get very, very excited, even if it's in the training mode. It, it, it really gives them motivation to push themselves harder. And that's the experience that I've had with G-Metrics practice exams. And I use them for all of my industry certifications, but mostly for my ACA Photoshop. My students, um, when they first start a product, you know, they've never touched it before. They're afraid and they just don't think they're gonna make it. But even when we do the training in G-Metrics and they get a score like you see on the screen, they're excited, they're hopeful, because they know now that there's a possibility that they can make it, which leads to my next slide with my other points. So the first thing is accountability. So the practice test helps to make the students accountable, accountable for themselves, accountable for their, their learning, accountable for their growth, accountable for their own understanding. Because even though um, what I like to do is have many lessons to teach them different objectives, once they get on the, the G metrics, I can actually create an objective-based uh, custom test with just those objectives on it. And when they go in and take that test and pass it, they feel more empowered, as I said from my previous slide. They feel like they're learning. They feel like they're growing. They feel like that they're in control because they know I can't do it for them. So by them learning and getting the, these grades and it's good grades, then they're feeling hopeful about it. So accountable. And we do want the students to be accountable because on industry certification testing day, they have to take the test. 
So they have to know what it looks like. They have to know what it's going to be asking. And then in order to empower them to be able to have that, I think this is a great beginning tool to use the custom test. The next thing is knowledge. Whenever they're doing the G metrics, even in the training mode, what I always tell my students the very first time that they do it, use the light bulb. And I have so many students that will say, I don't want to use the light bulb. I want to ask you. There's no difference. Help is help. But at least if they read the listen to the uh, click on the light bulb, they can read the steps, which is, again, empowering them to know where to go and what to do. True, I could just tell them, but sometimes we have to build up their accountability. So that's a way to push it back on them to check to actually click on the light bulb, look at the steps, because once they click on that help, it gives them step by step by step what to do and where to go. And it also helps them build their knowledge because they may find something in those steps that they didn't know was there. And that's going to only help them feel better about it. Confidence. Yes, this is all about building their confidence because when they get ready to take that test at the end, if they are not confident, then they're going to go slow. And what happens when they go slow? They run out of time. And when they run out of time, they don't pass the certification on the first time. And even though they know that you, they have a retake day, they are so disappointed because they ran out of time. I've even had students say, Miss Cole, it, they just didn't give me enough time. I said, they gave you plenty of time. You just weren't confident. So in order to build their confidence, it just goes back to the previous two things, knowledge and accountability. So G-Metrics definitely builds those skills for them because if they're able to move from the practice test to the actually testing mode, then they can see that they have confidence to know that they can do it. Because in the, in the testing mode, they don't have the light bulb or the help anymore. So they have to know the answer and know how to do it the way G-Metrics has asked them to do it. And which is really good for me because it also helps them to understand what the test will be looking for. You know, in today's world, everybody wanna do shortcuts, but sometimes the tests will not take shortcuts. So I always tell them, follow the way that the practice tests tell you because that's the way it will be on the test. And last but not least, growth. It helps them grow. On G-Metrics, they usually have a test one, a test two, and a test three. And usually they go from not really easy, but just kind of basic to maybe advanced, adding a little more at a time. So I've noticed with my students, once they get kind of stuck on the first one, and I have to really like sit down with them, once we finish building those skills, I can watch them go through the second and the third without any issues because it's building on their knowledge, which is growth. They're growing. They're learning more. They're knowing where to go. They're knowing what to do. And with Photoshop being a more of a complex product um, than I would say Microsoft, because Microsoft is kind of, you know, the same. It's kind of got the ribbon. Everything starts in the ribbon. And then, of course, you got the file, the backstage area, and of, of course, the options. So those things are in certain places. But with Photoshop, things can be anywhere. So it helps to build their growth. And the students are, I can just see how they go from, you know, not really being sure and being totally afraid to really feeling like they could be a graphic artist tomorrow, which we know that they can't. So I love the product because it really creates a basis for them that, again, helps them become accountable. It helps build their knowledge. It gives them confidence. So when they take the test, they'll know that they have growth to move to the next level. And last but not least, on my last slide, it adds value because once they sit down to the ACA Photoshop certification exam and they sit there and they sweat through that test and they end up making that 700 or more, they have something tangible that they can walk out the door with and get an entry level job that adds value not only to them, but to you as the educator, because then you can say, I helped them achieve that. 
and it may add more value to you as well because now you feel like I accomplished something a little bit more and I helped this student get to a place that they didn't originally think they can get to and now everybody has value. So I absolutely love all of the learning products that CertiPoint has to offer. I used to use a lot of the MOS, the MOS products, but I don't teach that class any, anymore, but the products are amazing. I fell in love with CertiPoint and I'm still in love with them today. And I thank you guys for creating more and more things to help the students be more successful as they continue on this journey. And again, I thank you for this opportunity and I hope that I've shared some tips and some tricks and just another perspective for you looking at it to know that you as the educator are valuable. Thank you. Love that, Miranda. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable information. And uh, we can certainly tell that you love what you do and are passionate about the, the student in the classroom. Thank you for what you do. Yeah. And thank you to the viewers this afternoon for your willingness to join us. Uh, we recognize that every day that goes by, each of you are making an impact for the, the better uh, as you attend classes and instruct these important students. Miranda, thank you for your time. Thanks. Those joining us this afternoon, thank you so much. Have a fantastic week, and we look forward to connecting with you again sometime soon. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.